Hi, I'm Chris. In the previous video, someone asked me how to do a clean install of Windows 10 on their new M.2 drive. Let's take a look at that. First, you're going to go out to Microsoft and download a tool that will help you create a Windows 10 install. Get the application running. Choose to create installation media for another PC. We're going to install it on a USB flash drive since the Y700 doesn't have a DVD drive. I've already got mine in the machine. Click Next, and it's going to download Windows 10 and put it on the flash drive and make it bootable. How long it takes kind of depends on your internet connection. It took about 15 or 20 minutes for me. <laughs> Restart the laptop and hit that F12 button like it owes you money. That'll get you into the boot selection screen. Arrow down, choose your flash drive, and hit Enter. From there, the Windows setup's going to start. You'll have to choose the regular stuff like Language and EULA. So next, you gotta figure out which volume you're gonna do this install on. If you're like me, you got two drives in this thing. Take a second and scroll through the list. Pay attention to the left column. That'll tell you what drive the partition is on. Drive numbering starts with zero. So if you've got two drives in there, you'll have a zero drive and a one drive. For me, the M.2 drive was a uh, drive zero and the old spinning terabyte drive was drive one. Once you figure out your M.2 drive, you can start deleting all the partitions from it. Select the unallocated space and choose new. Just click OK on the pop-up, hit next, and Windows will start installing. After Windows installs, you'll have to go through the initial OS setup. You know, things like user and network connections. I opened up the device manager to show you how Windows is installing the drivers in the background. Because this laptop was already activated with Windows 10, it went out and did the activation on its own. One last thing, I went out to AMD and got the latest graphics driver and changed the text settings from 150% to 125%. Even with filming this, this whole process took about two and a half hours to do and is totally worth it to get rid of all that bloatware. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching and if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you next time.